Welcome back. My apologies. Just still getting these little technical difficulties worked out. We do have game number two about ready to start. But before that, we're going to take it back over to our casters. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to hit that follow button so you can get notified as to when we go live every single Sunday for the Sunday Skirmish. All right, casters, take it away. All right, man. Technical difficulties. This is the vehicle of technology that esports rides in. Guys, I am Shaf of Polygon Gaming. We're about to be going into game number two between a very eccentric player and a very standard player. However, what is not standard, what is actually quite eccentric, is this map and kid. Why don't you tell them about it? Well, on this particular map, it uh, has a gold base that they can take mm -hmm. uh, as their natural base. There's lots of room for aggressive builds, but it also can play out as a standard map. So it's going to be That's very interesting how these... Battle Battle, yeah. battle on the boardwalk, you forgot to mention? Yes. Got to name it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you were saying? No, I was saying the battle of the boardwalk, it has a, a lot of different uh, nuances to it. You have a gold base that both players can take, mm -hmm. so they can be super aggressive, uh, which Penguin is opening up gas pool first. So we'll see if uh, potentially he goes into a Roach Ravager push. Yeah, Roach Ravager, definitely a very powerful build here. Um, I, I, you know, I favor the 14 pull, but um, the going for the gas before the spawning pull, um, doesn't that kind of suggest like lings or bane lings or something? Um, no, not necessarily. It could, mm -hmm. um, it, it could go roaches, but he is now taking the gold base. Hmm. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Well. We are going to uh, be hopping into this game. Viewers should be able to see it now. So here on the top, left hand side, uh, battle on the boardwalk. He is our purple Zergy McFerguson. He plays for Sizestorm Gaming. He is currently down one game. He is Penguin. And in the right hand corner, winning the first game, seemed to be fairly easily with his bio. It is from Rival. It's Kozan. So right now, kid, you kind of have like a lot of discussion going on about the perks of Bio versus Mech. What are your thoughts? Like, which one do you think is better off than like, or is it still just like a stylistically different, but ultimately still the same? Well, I think it's stylistically different, but I think it's also um, map dependent too, because mm -hmm. on this particular map, there's lots of different choke points and so mm -hmm. on. But uh, if you notice, Penguin is putting down a roach warrant. So as right. uh, we predicted, this one this one could be a little bit uh, different than than Bio mm -hmm. and um, the way that uh, Penguin's opening. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Well, the Reaper is getting in here. Scout said this is a one base play. Scout said it's a Roach Warren. He does not quite know that there's an expansion, but he's got to think it's a possibility. He's also got to think, oh, shit, this is Penguin. I could die. Yeah, well, taking that gold base and the Roaches, it's kind of a, an odd opening on this particular map, and it looks like Terran is just going to open up standard bio, so... He is putting down a bunker in front mm -hmm. of his natural base, so he could, you know, he knows about the roach warren, so he's going to try that, and he'll probably go into some tanks. Yeah, tanks definitely good against roaches. So, in the game against Disrespect on this map, Penguin did, like, almost pure roach ravager. Um, do, you, do you remember any details from that game? Yeah, he actually opened up a very quick three roach ravager push, and mm -hmm. um, he actually ended up winning that game. Uh, it was pretty easy to to hold back the uh, the <laughs> the Terran player because he was able to take down supply depots and supply block them. But this is a very delayed Roach Warren compared to uh, to that quick Roach Ravenger push. What the fuck? Why am I um, a referee? That shouldn't be possible. Yeah, I shouldn't be a ref. Yeah. Uh, just take over for a sec, kid. Okay, so right now we are have some links going across the map, have some roaches going across the map. Um, Kozan still kept his Reaper alive. We have the bunkers. We have some Marines out for Kozan. 
and he does have his first tank out. Currently have four roaches and 22 lit or 22 drones to 29 SCVs. But mm -hmm. um, Penguin does have that gold base. Yeah, Penguin taking the gold base. Um, Ravagers are on the way, but the bunkers are there. Um, and here's the thing. The um, tanks are on the field. Ravagers are pretty darn good, but they're not like, they're not great against tanks. Tanks outrange the, uh, the biles. The biles there were able to snipe that bunker because it was just a little bit too far back. But coming out of this choke point, that's going to be a very difficult thing for Penguin. Yeah, I think it's going to be difficult. And also with the two tanks, he's going to be able to hold this off fairly easily. Yeah, um, very, very, very easily. And actually, uh, he may be able to hit some kind of uh, really strong push. Penguin tapping out, doing the GG thing. He was floating about a thousand resources. That, that, that uh, I think he got a little tilted there. Um, We'll be moving into the uh, the next game here in just a moment, guys. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not gonna teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.